Season 6 of NBA 2K24 has arrived. Celebrating on the courts is Shea Gilgis Alexander. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Setting Miami for Big Game 3 of the Western Conference semifinals getting going right now. Thanks for tuning in. 2K Sports presents the NBA. So with Stoudemire sitting on the bench, here's the five for that Rivers right now. Davis is out there with Towns. Then it's Johnson. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Wilkins and it's the three And for Miami. Hardaway is out there with Maravich. Then there's Bosch. Then it's Daniels. Harrison, no good. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Beautiful vision and awareness there from Anthony Davis to find the open man for the score. Pass to Harrison. Makes it off the glass. Just setting the team with an aggressive move to drag it in. Where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. <laughs> Nearly automatic. Gilgis <laughs> Alexander. No slouch from the line. First the bunch shooting that first shot from the stripe in this game. Team and five. the first one drops. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Outside, Maravich. And Davis sends it back. Putting that seven foot six wingspan to use. AD continues to climb the all time blocks list. And this team looking to get him the ball and get him in rhythm quicker. Because he's someone that you lean on at the offensive end. Establish him early. For Miami, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. Here's Hardaway. The dish to Daniels. Maravich against Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at five. Goes up on the high post. That shot misses. Good D by Wilkins. Bucks have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Davis. Goes back up. Offensive rebound. That's the hard work you love to see from a star like AD. Never gave up on the play. And it's Miami's ball. Hardaway passes to Maravich. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting well off their usual numbers around 29% so far. Good. Anthony Davis. Davis has got his second Assist basket. Goes to you see the weight that AD's Carl added Anthony to his Towns. frame over the years. Now invites contact. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. Hardaway passes to Daniels. Here's Harrison. Outside Hardaway. And here's Maravich for three. Miami no good on that time either. And so it's Wilkins who brings up the ball for the Bucks. Carl Anthony Towns. Four point game. Oh, Assisted my. by Carl Anthony Towns. Dominique with a little Wilkins. extra emphasis on that one. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Time out. Miami calls their first timeout of the game. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. The Heat making a switch here. All right, is checked in. Make some noise once again. For your and on the screen dancer. now is the 2K leaderboard with the rundown of this postseason's assist leaders. You look at Johnson, third in assists and a great leader. 
And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. Bosch dishes to Daniels. Here's Harrison. And the pass to Hardaway. Out to the right wing. Just five on the clock. Harrison, no good. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Outside, Davis. Knocks it loose. Here's Rice, covered by Johnson. Kept alive. Bosch passes to Daniels. Kicks it to Rice from past the arc. That shot off the mark. Johnson with the defensive effort. Outside, Towns. Johnson right side. Driving inside. And a wide open look for Gilgis Alexander. And the three off target. The Heat trailed by six. We've got 148 left in the first quarter of the game. And when you think of Rice, his consistency comes to mind, as well as that dead eye shooting first for personal foul. And let's get your take, first guys, on the scoring foul. breakdown for the Bucks. Right now, it's their passing game. Now it's been on point. Doing a great job of moving right. it around and getting the ball to their shooters. And also, guys, they're out muscling their opponent. The points in the paint are piling up because of that aggressiveness. And Milwaukee with a whole new lineup now. Len Benyama finds Markinen. One thirty-three left to play in the first quarter. Lock at six. Here's Wim Banyama. The stupendous finish in traffic. And we talk often about Wimbenyama's insane lift. There, we see it on the offensive glass. Hardaway passes to Rice. Hits the three-point bomb. Play. Rice has got five. Well, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. The reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Missed opportunity wide open for mid-range. He would love to get that one back. On the wing, Hardaway. Covered by Dumas. Steps back and fires. And Hardaway gets it to go. And it's that in-between area in the mid-range. It's where Hardaway is probably most comfortable with his shot. Halliburton passes to Wembanyama. Back to Halliburton. And Halliburton slips it in. And once he gets the clear assist. off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. The rebound by Halliburton. Bucks leading by three. And the layup's good off the glass. Tyrese Halliburton's Halliburton. got his second bucket of the game to go. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Outside Hardaway. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Bucks lead by five. Your Miami Heat. Live from Miami. You're watching 2K Sports. 11. The Bucks. 16. We're back with you, all set to bring you more action from Game 3. And look what we've seen from Milwaukee. What do you think, guys? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Bucks yeah, five. they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. So with Stoudemire sitting on the first bench, here's five. the five for Doc Rivers right now. Downs is out there with Dominique Wilkins. Then there's Wembenyama. Then it's Magic Johnson. And it's Gilgis Alexander in at the two. And the Heat making a change here. Bosch is checked in. Gilgis Alexander, and he's open. 
And good coming off the assist by Magic Shane Johnson. Gilgis, this is why SCA is a focal point of his offense because of that ability to score. Jackson kicks to Maravich. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. Bucks leading by five. Mbanyama passes to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Johnson. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Pass to Arizon. A three-pointer no good. And so Wembenyama will bring it up for Milwaukee. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Baseline J on the way. Towns. And Towns throws it down. Paul and Towns is Towns. solid at getting strong position on the glass. Terrific work. Now a timeout called by Miami. Miami they come into this one after losing on Sunday. Yeah, sometimes the matchups just aren't in your favor. No matter what you do, and it seems like your opponent does it better. You know, they were reacting rather than dictating. I thought they played scared all night. Daniels, he's checked in for the Heat. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Victor Wembenyama. Here's Harrison. He's guarded by Davis. From deep, Thomas. Rebound, Milwaukee. Towns has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And he lobs it up toward the rim. It's slammed in by Wilkins. Wilkins. And I'm not sure it's even possible to throw it too high for Dominique. He has a vertical plus the rim. And that's an alley you waiting to happen every time he runs the floor. And it's Bosch at the elbow. Shoots over Towns. And again, unable to change momentum here. Milwaukee leading by 11. Now Johnson. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. That's tipped, and he's able to get it back. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And that one's good. Daniels. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Here's Johnson. Dishes it to Towns. And the dunk by Towns. Oh, Anthony Towns. That's just an unfair advantage. Assisted. Magic standing at 6'9". With the Johnson. way he handles the basketball, creates huge matchup problems in that pick and roll. Maravich dishes to Thomas. Back to Maravich. Bosch trying to free himself up. No good for Maravich. Bucks have gone five of eight from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Five. And nice intensity from Towns in the paint. Doesn't back off and takes that shot second while being five. fouled. The Bucks shooting their third and fourth free throw First attempts of the game. Five. At the line. Carl Anthony Towns. Two. First one falls for him. And one of the game's elite shooters, and Towns' sweet stroke definitely extends to the free throw line. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Zinkis, he's jacked in for Anthony Davis. Markinen comes in for Dominique Wilkins. And Halliburton subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. And Towns drops them both. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. Pass to Daniels. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Carl Anthony Towns. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Now at the line, Mel Daniel. 
two. The first one falls. Milwaukee making a switch here. Dumars is checked in. He hits both from the strike. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Now the pass to Johnson. Back to Halliburton. And you can see he just didn't get Penny squared up with his feet. First personal foul. Second team foul. the wing Johnson out to Porzingis uncovered and it's Miami with the rebound One fifty-three left to play here in the second quarter and up the court come the Bucks on the break here's Dumars and they cash in right away with a quick shot Joe Dumars Dumars got the lead up to 13 now for Milwaukee Outside Hardaway. A three-pointer is right on target. Hardaway has got his second basket of the night. And Maravich is such a great scorer. All eyes are on him, but his eyes are on his teammates. A tremendous dual threat. Fades and shoots. Johnson outside. Just five to shoot. Out to Porzingis. Here's the three. And it's Daniels with the rebound. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Count that bucket. Maravich just got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Heat. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Outside, marking it. Maravich against Dumars. Now, here's Markinen. He's guarded closely. And Maravich pulls it down. For Miami, they've gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Alley -oop. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense. Up to four. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Ball stolen. Gotta run the clock and wait. For the last shot. Yes, you do, but it's a dilemma. If you get a great look earlier in the clock, do you take it? Adebayo kicks to Hardaway. Two on the clock, and he hits the jumper for two. Penny. And now it's just a four-point Milwaukee lead. And not sure what you can do with a guy like that. With his handles, he can just take the defender to the score. With a score. And a close game so far through the first two Your quarters as we reach halftime. 26. Milwaukee on top, up. The Bucks. Thanks, for Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. SRO, standing room only. Ooh, nice. Well, from Milwaukee. They have taken care of business in the first two games, but they got a fight on their hands tonight. They're not going to be able to just cruise to a 3-0 lead in this series. It's going to take some effort in the second half. And Kenny, what did you think about what we saw from Milwaukee? And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. back to 2K Sports coverage of the Western Conference semifinals. Carl Anthony Towns with a strong contribution so far in this one. With so much on the line tonight, you have to be impressed with the way he came out and set the tone. He's one of those players who can turn up when 
necessary, and you need those guys in big games. So with Ginobili on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. Five. They've got Perovich. He yeah, goes on there with Chris Bosh. Then there's Hardaway. First personal foul. What I like there, Gilgis Alexander knows when to force First the action. Foul. Terrific awareness for his age. He's gone two for two at the line so far. The line. First free throw is good. Shea Gilgis Alexander. Two. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. Hardaway with it. Out to Maravich. That misses off the backboard. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. It's easy to tell that he is most comfortable Assist pulling up from, from that area on the floor. The Heat trail by Anthony six. Towns. Pass to Arison. Hit his foot. And they're saying he kicked the ball. Kick ball call. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Throws it up high. Throws down the alley oop slam. Alley oop. And how about the incredible timing on that alley oop? They absolutely hammered it down. Ball, ball. Hey. Johnson outside. Maravich against Gilgis Alexander. And it goes down two points. Gilgis Shea Alexander's Gilgis got four this quarter. That's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Slim frame but has the length to finish over or around you. Here's Arizon, defended by Wilkins. Here's Maravich. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. Towns has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Johnson kicks to Towns. And it's sent back by Bob. Oh, using that length on defense, Bosch positioning himself well to come up with the block. No, and no, no. with some changes, Jaron Jackson comes in for Daniel. And Thomas sucked in for Hardaway. And Benyama, he's checked in for the Bucks. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Bosch. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And really, that is why he is feared as a defender. Right in your face on that shot. Moved his feet, timed it perfectly. That's how you get stops. Love it. He'll just have Alexander looking around. Passes to Johnson. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. To the line, and Johnson is right there. Magic Good Johnson. job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. To the inside, and the shot is good. The Bucks lead has been cut down now to just four in the basket for Maravich. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. That's to Gilgis Alexander. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Shea Gilgis Davis has got three assists now in this one. And he finally gets involved from beyond the arc. His first three of the game comes here in the second quarter. Here's Harrison. Second shot opportunity. And the rejection by Wimbanyama. Johnson gets the bucket. And when you have this kind Magic of size Johnson. as a point guard, what a tremendous advantage. Magic can really match up Timeout. with all Ball five positions. Heat. Timeout called the Heat. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down He's to the question. To get on your feet. One team short it, the other get allowing free itself free to be bullied. And the Bucks with some changes. 
Lowry Markin is subbed in for Avery Davis. Halliburton subbed in for Magic Johnson. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Rice passes to Thomas. Heat moving the ball around. Here's Jackson. Banked in off the glass. Jaren proving how strong he is on these finishes. Great job. Pumps it up for Wimbenyama. Super work on the board. <laughs> they really want to put their foot down on him now. Yeah, and once you got him on the ropes, Greg just keeps swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is really. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. Now that's what I call a momentum changer. Yeah, when you've got a point guard with that kind of spring, no lead is safe. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. And Halliburton not afraid to work for it on offense. Taking the contact and still getting the finish. Outside Jackson. The pass to Arison. The three ball. Rebounded by the Bucks. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And then they continue to control the glass. Here's Wimbanyama. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Bam out of bio. And the enthusiasm and expectations for Wimbanyama are off the charts for a rookie. That's a lot of pressure for a young man to deal with. Impeccable hope from the line since halftime. Errors in the pass to Rice. That three off the mark. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Sweet little floater. Gilgis Alexander's, Alexander's got Alexander. the lead up to 13 now for the Bucks. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. Poke loose. Errors in the pass to Jackson. No good from the win. Well, two three quarters of play, down That's double digits in the game with a to overcome. Bucks lead by 13. Miami Heat. We'll be back shortly live from Miami Arena. 38. The Bucks. 51. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And how about the big fella here showing us? He's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Let me tell you, when you can run offense through your bigs, you give the defense just another thing it has to try and take away. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. So with Stoudemire sitting on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. Towns is out there with Victor Wembenyama. Then it's Joe Dumas. Then it's Wilkins. And it's Johnson in at the point. When Banyama gets the bucket. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Miravich against Dumars. Pass to Rice. Five to shoot. Driving the lane. Danny. And the rejection by Wembenyama! And it's Rice with the rebound. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Feeds it to Wilkins. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Assisted by... And the Bucks lead by 17. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Three. Gets the three-point of the fall. Talk about making halftime adjustments. You love what they're doing with him now offensively. Johnson, the pass to Dumas. That's in, coming off the assist from Johnson. 
Just Joe a tremendous all-around player. Dumars at time points. showing us the deep range. And the Heat call time here. And just Tom, trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. Fans, give it up for the baddest dance team in the NBA, your Miami Heat dancers. Rice kicks to Maravich. Here's Hardaway. It's the target from 18 feet. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. Outside Dumars. Passes it to Johnson. Back to Dumars. Five on the clock. Shoots over Maravich. Bosch grabs the miss. Bosch has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Maravich. And he gets the whistle. Two Your free throws five. coming up. Joe Dumars. And Maravich, the skill set, how savvy he is, First and then the championship that he brings to the table. I, I don't know that we've ever had a guy more creative at the game of basketball. Davis has checked in for the Bucks. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Towns, the pass to Johnson. And they call an illegal screen here. And that's turnover number two on the game. Doing a nice job in terms of ball control. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. And here's Maravich. Hardaway with a wide open look. The offensive rebound. The uncanny ability to time the tip in. He does this night in and night out. Hardaway again, Twin Benyama. Johnson outside. That's good, and it's Twin Benyama with the assist. Assist goes to. Twin Benyama has got three Wim assists ben tonight. Yama. To the paint and out of bounds as the Bucks out gain possession. You want unselfishness, Bucks but ball. you also need to keep it under control. And so Wembenyama will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Poked away. Here's Rice. No good. Excellent D there from Wilkins. Yeah, it's been about the rebounding. Really, that's the dividing line in this game. Maravich against Johnson. Maravich the pass to Bosch. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Hammers the alley -oop through. And and far from just a score, Hardaway is also in finding his teammate. From Time out called the Bucks. Hardaway! Bucks call timeout. And now let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Victor Wembanyama. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp, and his touch from the field flawless. Okay, he and the teammates have worked hard to get him in some good positions, and boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running for all those sets for him. And Greg, to play like he has under the most intense circumstances here in the playoffs makes it all the more remarkable. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Alden. That's the latest, David. Well, during the break, we're listening in on Doc Rivers talking to the team. And he was real calm during the timeout. He was smiling when he told the team, we're up. Game plan is working. Go out there and have fun. It's always fun when you're up late, guys. Thank you, David. He's efficient, low turnover rate. Shea is more than capable of running the show. Here's Harrison. The shot's good. Oh. Harrison's got five points. Oh. In the Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. 
Gilgis Alexander passes to Johnson. Going inside over Hardaway. Johnson can't get it to go. And it's Miami's ball. They're on a 16th to 7 run. Harrison and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. I think they've looked to dump it down low as often as possible. Now. And so far, they've been super successful using this attack. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance to get easy points, boy, they just jump at it. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Every second counts now. They can't wait around. And I don't think they will. The problem is they've waited too long to make a move. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Daniel. And he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that back one. And they go to the intentional foul. Penny Hardaway. Second personal foul. First team foul. And they are in the driver's seat. Yes, they are. If they come away with points on this trip, Katie bar the door. And Davis comes it down. Davis. Boy, I tell you, AD has always been clutch. Timeout called the Heat. Timeout called for the Heat. They're behind by six. 34 All seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, nice. what do you think? Looking That's for a right. quick shot. It's trying to extend time. the game. And on the defensive end, they'll have to foul whomever gets the and ball. No time left for your to be picky. Answer. Here's Maravich. Here's Daniels. Not going to go that time. Great tee that time from Davis. On offense here for the Bucks, And so they choose to intentionally foul. Second personal foul. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Timeout called Timeout. the Heat. Called for the Heat. They're trailing by eight. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. Court. I just think they have to focus on the moment. Don't worry about the score. Worry about executing the next play. Errors in the pass to Autobio. Thomas outside. Out of bounds. Milwaukee out takes bounds. possession. Boy, if you're the coach, Ball. you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. There's 14 seconds left in the game. Now, here is Halliburton. And so the Bucks take the win. You have to think at this point, up three zip. It's only a matter of time now, Greg, That's until this series game. is in the books. Uh, you know. If you're looking for faster progression, you'll want to level up this season. Welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And the Kings preparing for this road contest as they get off the bus. A group that is ready for tonight's challenge. Well, the venue. Let's check out Sacramento's starting lineup. They've got Kobe Bryant. And it's on to in at the four slot. And for the Knicks. And it's Russell in at the four. You look at the Kings. They let one slip away at home. You know they're desperate to regain the advantage. Yes, they are. But let's also credit their opponent. This matchup has looked more even than many people expected. They're going to have to play their best ball to win tonight here on the road. The 15-footer. Here's Olajuwon. Gets another look. And he lays it up and in. Second like chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis. And there was some serious effort there. And here's Bryant outside. Hits the three-pointer. And the vision of the Greek Freak, they're able to pick out the opening. The Knicks have gone one for three so far. Over to the left wing. Here's Baylor. 
Covered by Bryant. The ball's knocked loose. With the putback, controls the rebound and the putback. Great anticipation off the missed shot. Oh, his timing was impeccable. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Jordan with it. Outside Russell. Fires from the wing. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Bryant outside. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Six on the shot clock. And that one no good to start off tonight. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Man, good whistle there. First personal foul. First team foul. And the first one at the line is good. At the line, two shots. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. And the first quarter of action, two minutes in. Trexler passes to Frazier. Here's Bryant. And it's Jordan with the rebound. New York with the ball. They trail by one. Pass to Baylor. He takes it in. That one doesn't drop. Excellent D there from Bryant. The Kings have gone two for five here in the first. Yeah, that one's good. McAdoo. Bob McAdoo. McAdoo's got his second basket. I just love how he runs the floor with energy and intensity, but still stays under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Pass to Drexler. Shoots from the baseline. That one rolls around and rims out. Because of his quick reactions, he was able to stay with the opponent and contest the shot. Talk about versatility on offense a lot, but how about on defense? And he takes pride in making an impact down there. On to the Kumpo. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Russell. First personal foul. Hard to get upset at the defense there. But Tentacubo is no easy matchup down low in the paint. Giannis Antetokounmpo. At the line. Two shots. The first free throw is good. How is it that Giannis always seems fired up? I mean, this guy has a true enthusiasm for the game and for competition. He just delivers night in and night out. That's what makes him the star. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Time out, Knicks. Who wants a t-shirt? Get on your feet. Make some... And real quick, let's check out the field goal percentage leaders in the postseason. And here's Paul. Pass to Pippen. 4-3. The rebound by McAdoo. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good 9 out of 10 times. Here's Bryant. Kept alive. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. Pippen passed to Paul. Fires the 3. First shot won't go. He really suffocated him there, guys. Just excellent work. Here's Frazier, guarded by Russell. The shot 
by McAdoo. No good. Man, I thought he was making that football. in so Two close. Minutes. That's some aggressive defense. Jordan high post. Outside Russell. Back to Jordan. Shot clock at six. Second chance effort. He's now one for two with that bucket. He seems to be in the right place at the right time. More often than anybody Kingsley. that's on the court here tonight. Nah. You see that pay off. Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Frazier. Back to Out of the Kumpo. Out to the right wing. Here's Bryant. That one rolls around and rims out. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Left side pull. To the left wing. Here's Jordan. Shoots over Bryant. Second chance shot. So they take the lead. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there. So they collect that rebound. Nine. Pass to Frazier. New York foul. Chris Paul. First personal foul. Second team foul. Washington foul. Sure. Cooper's checked in At for Jordan. Line. Two shots. Seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Pippen. Tries again. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Here's Kerbin. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right George through the back Kirby. of the iron. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Outside Russell. Here's Pippen. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. George Kirvin. First personal foul. Second team foul. That free throw misses. So it's both teams Scotty making Pippen. substitutions here. At the line. Good on the second one. Launches it from deep. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for That's him. The end of the first so at the end of the one quarter of play, still a the close Knicks. game. Kings Eleven. ahead, up by two. The Kings. And we'll be back in 13. Happy to have you back with us for the Eastern Conference semifinals on 2K Sports. And what do you think about the Kings here, guys? It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. And for the Kings, they've got Derrick Rose, and it's Frazier in at the two spot. You know, every coach should show players game tape of how he just boxed out right there. Great job with the footwork and using his body to step to the rebound. There's the block. Out of bounds. Knicks out ball bounds. as New York keeps possession. Knicks ball. Paul taking his time here. From behind the arc. And again, the Knicks missing. <laughs> That's exactly how you have to defend him on the perimeter. You can't allow any space. Drexler, that's good. Clyde Drexler. 
And about a minute gone in the second quarter. Pass to Cooper. To the middle. Here's Matumbo. Cowens grabs the board. Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. The Knicks have gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. Here's Cooper. Sacramento grabs the miss. To the inside. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Walt Frazier. And the Kings lead by six. New York calls timeout. Trying anything now to get them out of this slope. Well, they can't find the net right now. And all they need, I think, is just to get one to go. Get back on track. Russell's checked in for New York. Jordan comes in for Paul. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Jordan pass to Olajuwon. Connects on the 17-footer. Olajuwon's got six points. Nice. The defender's on him. He gauges how much space he needs to get that one off. He chooses to go with the fadeaway. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Sacramento ball. And looking at these playoffs so far, here are some of the players who have been distributing the ball the best. You take a look at Bryant, cracking the top five in the NBA with his passing ability. I really admire how he seeks out his teammates. His selfless attitude and desire to get his guys going is what makes him such a valuable player. Ronnie Basket counts. And they're trending in the right direction after a rough first quarter from the field. Jordan, the pass to Cooper. The shot comes out. Excellent D there from Bryant. For Sacramento, they've gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Pass to Drexler. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. From 13, Moncrief, no good. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Baylor, the pass to Olajuwon. Cowens grabs the board. And here's Ana Nakupo. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. They lead by six. That's their biggest margin. Inside. Blocked! Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Here's Cooper. Fires in the triple. Cooper's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. 19. Offensive rebound. 16. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Pass to Drexler. Here's Cowens. Six to shoot. Tries yet again. Moncrief, no good. New York has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Now Jordan. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Outside Russell. Sacramento grabs the miss. Cowens has got five rebounds in the game. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Baylor. He's scoreless. Ana de Kumpo grabs the board. The Kings leading. And out of bounds. The Knicks will take it. The Knicks making a switch here. Pippins checked in. Substitution on the court. Minute 32 left to play in the first half. Pass to Baylor. Here's Pippen. Knocked loose. Back come the Kings in transition. Here's Bryant. The rebound by Baylor. Despite the miss, 
Those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Blocked! And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. Remains New York ball. Substitution on the court. Fifty-eight seconds left in the first half, and he gets it to go. Well, Picasso couldn't have drawn that up any better. Perfect execution off the inbound. Nineteen, eighteen. Rose pass to McAdoo. Bryant outside. Let the three fly, and there's the foul. Sacramento He'll go on foul. Derek Rose. Derek Rose. That's his first foul. That's first just a foul right foul. there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Reed's checked in for Sacramento. Oh, Frazier comes in from Bryant. Three point goal. And that Can one's good. Substitution. Oh. Chris Paul knows exactly not just who's going to hit him, but. How they're going to hit Frazier. The Kings shooting just around 32% from the field. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clock. Frazier. Oh. Some solid defense from Jordan. Hard Kingsley. to convert against that kind 22. of defensive pressure. 20. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests. And that's just enough. And their free throws have dropped off in this quarter. They're settling for too many jump shots right Derek now. Rose. And despite the height disadvantage, Oh, my. He just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Sinks the tray. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that play. Kings lead. 20 Appreciate it, Alex. And we'll be coming right back after this break. Ready for the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. That's the show. end of the first half with a score. The well, for the Kings, the first two games of this the series Kings. were evenly split. And the first half of this game followed suit. They're still searching for that extra edge that'll give them the upper hand here in game. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Welcome back, folks, for more Eastern Conference semifinal action. Jordan's gone two of four shooting. And it's Jordan in at the point guard position. That's Tom Thibodeau's five as we get going in the second half. Bryant, the pass to Anacupo. Now Jordan. Out left to the wing. Here's Pippen for the lead. Hauled in by the Kings. Here's Drexler. McAdoo. Pass to Drexler. Counted. Good. Flying Drexler. Drexler's got six. Kick That's to the outside. Heads up play. Cognizant of the entire floor. Here's Baylor. Covered by Bryant. Baylor. That's good. Baylor's got his first points in the game. A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. For Sacramento, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Drexler passes to McAdoo. Pass to Frazier. And he comes up with a bucket. He has six. Frazier. And that's exactly how you attack length. I love how he doesn't lack assertiveness. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. Into the third. Two minutes in now. Honor to Kumpo. Outside. Down low. And a foul called on the way out. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Michael Jordan. 
First personal foul. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go first to chest. Foul. Walt Frazier. At the line. Two shots. And he makes a first. Cooper's checked in for New York. And that's good as he hits both shots. New York trailing. Here's Pippen. Cowens grabs the board. Cowens has got six rebounds now in the game. Well, they're going to try to yes, search out for ball. somebody that's got a hot hand right From now. One of four to start Frazier. the half. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. On an Akupo with the block. Anticipation and length makes Giannis a great shot blocker. Here's Moncrief. The Knicks pull it in. Baylor's got four rebounds now. Pass to Pippen. The three. He drops it from range. And that's a shot he's going to bury, especially when left open. The Kings have got three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Kings lead. 32. 28. Here's Cowens. Throws it up high. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt. Here's Jordan. And he banks in the layup. And now it's just a two point Sacramento lead. When it's this close, every bucket matters. Never with looks. Moncrief, the pass to Frazier. To the wing, right side. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. That one is off. Oh, a clear foul there Kings on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Giannis Antetokounmpo. The defender really went first after him. First foul. First free throw is good. First team foul. Elgin Baylor. At the line, two shots. He's off on the second. The Kings leading. Now here's Rose. Can't get it to drop. Nice D from Paul. Here's Pippen. Two minutes remaining in the third. Oh, Two no minutes. good. Had a chance to take the lead. And Rose has got the ball here for the Sacramento Kings. Another assist in the career of D. Rose. New York has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Pass to Pippen. And again, the Knicks missing. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. And it's out of bounds to Sacramento. King's ball. So it's Sacramento now. Three-point lead. Pass to Moncrief. Down to five on the shot clock. And he hits one. Maybe he's ready to get back on Sydney track. Moncrief. The Knicks have gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Got a piece of it. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. And the Knicks making know. a change here. Russell has checked Knicks in. Ball. Substitution on the court. One oh seven left in the third quarter. Oh, swiped away. Rose outside. Pass to Drexler. Here's Gervin. Clock at six. Three-pointer. 
It's rebounded by New York. Russell's got his fourth rebound in this one. Tries to break his ice. And the bucket counts. And he was on his way to the line. They're trying to make it a three-point play. Defensive foul, charge to Clyde Drexler. That's his first personal. Second team foul. There's 31 seconds left in the third. Here's Durbin. Out of bounds. It'll be New York's ball. New York ball. The Knicks have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. With the teardrop. Paul with the bucket. Oh! And it's all knotted up. We've Nick seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Rhodes can't connect. He's got a nice feel for that crossover, but you still have to finish. Here's Cooper. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is That's offline. The the it's a tie score. game in New York. Don't go anywhere, the folks. Dicks. We'll be back in a moment. 36. The Kings. 36. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. Come on, fans. Time for the fourth quarter, which means one thing. And welcome back to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports. Taking a look at Sacramento. Pass to Jordan. To take the lead. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Knicks lead by two. Knicks lead. Great at using his body and finding his feet positions on the boards where he can get up, get to it, get an extra possession. Oh, Saw his teammate with a path to the rim. Assisted and by. boom! Lobbed it up there. Pressure. Very smooth catch and finish. Ball passes to Jordan. Shoots over Bryant. Here's Russell. On an Akumpo with the block. It's a one on one situation. And that one's good. Bob McAdoo. McAdoo. And guys, what do you think about the Assist hustle stats for the Kings? I mean, Walt those Frazier. swats, <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. So it's about more than just those block numbers. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. Here's Kumpo. And it's flushed down! A nice jam! Bob and that McAdoo. really has to lift his teammates' spirits right now. I'll tell you, Graf, these second-chance buckets could be what this game Time comes down to. Well, especially in a close game, every possession matters. Now a timeout called by New York. They're just giving it's away a run right time. now. The question we is, can they stop the time? Hard to say time. right now, at this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three now, iterations of defense. Is York there a force? Game. I'm not sure. And Elgin keeping us updated Baylor. from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Hey guys, over the last break, I listened to Tom Thibodeau address the team. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? All right, Allie, thanks once again. Four on the clock. Here's Pippen. <laughs> New York, no good that time either. Probably better off passing on that shot with him all in his face. Yeah, that's one where you hope if he gets in there the next time, he, he makes a different choice. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll be New York's ball. Knicks ball. For New York, they've got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. Pass to Baylor. Deflected. 
in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Frazier, the pass to Bryant. Donna to Kupo with it. Here's Frazier. Shot clock at five. They grab their own miss. McAdoo. Goes back up. Gets rebounded by Olajuwon. Olajuwon's got his fifth rebound in this one. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. And so it's on Kupo with it. He brings it up for the Kings. Kobe Bryant. The great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist really the key to that entire sequence. To the paint. Here's Baylor. Shakes him. And it's good on the lay-in. Instead of risking Baylor. something on the perimeter, he just works it inside. Kingsley. They don't reason to settle in that situation if they're going to give that up. He's going to take all of it. Here's Frazier. Ooh, he took a hard foul Number on the five. shot. So he'll head to the line Baylor to shoot a pair. Foul. Second person, no foul. First one falls. First team foul. That one falls, so he hits both of them. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. From deep, Jordan. And again, New York with the triple. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Time called here. The Kings decide to talk it over. And things are always changing throughout a game. Sacramento. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts Time of your entire team. Now, Not everyone, just the guys playing, but the entire team. For a t-shirt talk. And the ball goes out of bounds. Out of bounds. Last touch by Ana de Kupo. Next ball. Jordan with it. Over on to Kumpo. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Pass to Drexler. Here's Frazier. Out to the wing. Shot clock at six. And here's Bryant outside. Knocks down the triple. Bryant's got Bryant. five points in the quarter. Ooh, he has Three a lot points. of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. A minute 31 left in the fourth. Olajuwon can't get it to go. Gotta appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Baylor. And he'll draw the foul. Sacramento he'll head to the line five. for two. Ronnie Drexler. Second personal foul. First he gets the foul. first. And that brings him within five. Eligible. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. In a close contest, you have to put the ball in the hands of someone who will find a way to put up points. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. Up and over Russell. And it's on an Akumpo with the miss. New York has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Here's Jordan. New York no good that time either. For Sacramento, they've got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. On an Akumpo, pass to Bryant. Shot blocked. And they'll keep possession. Next foul. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Bill Russell. Third personal foul. Second team foul. New York on D. Four point game. Bryant outside. Pass to Frazier. Fires for three. The offensive rebound. And he commits the Next intentional foul. foul. Bill Russell. Fourth personal foul. And he misses the Third first one. Foul. Boy, he wanted that one to go. There's something Giannis continues to work on. Wanting to be the go-to guy yes, at the line in the ball. clutch. At the line. Two shots. And he ends up making the second. 
And that puts him up five. Timeout. New, New York, York calls timeout. They're down by five. 29 seconds left in the game. Get three teachers. And once again, let's hear it for your mixed city dancers. Let me hear you once again. 29 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Timeout, Brooks. And a big round of applause for your next city kid. And your next city kid makes a noise. Second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Pippen. Pass to Olajuwon. Looking to get back on track. He connects! What a beautiful oh, shot! Oh, Brings him within three! That's nice vision there. You see that pass? You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. Second first, no foul. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that gives him a four-point cushion. Here's Pippen. Here's Baylor. Off target from outside. And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. First first, no foul. He drops the first one. And that puts him up five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Put a bow on this one. His composure at the line effectively ends it. From deep, Jordan. No good. So the Kings win it. And this is a critical win for them. They grab the lead in the series after splitting the first two games. Game three feels like a game. Welcome to season six. It's time to introduce this in. Welcome everyone to game three of this Western Conference Center. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. Garnett is out there with Havlicek. Then there's Doncic. Then there's Robertson. And it's Chamberlain in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Pacers. Duran is out there with Hayes. Then there's West. Then there's Yao, and it's McGrady in at the two-guard position. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. And here is Doncic. Havlicek outside. Off target from outside. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. But three... They get it back. No good there. You know, at the end of the day, size does matter, especially on the glass. Here's Garnett, and it's blocked. You know, some might say Hayes plays the game angry, and there's, there was definitely something angry about his defense there. What an emphatic rejection. Now, here's Doncic following the shot by Tracy McGrady. Nice shot by Robertson. And he's Austin not going to miss that sort of an opportunity. Three. That's the bounce pass. Durant, no good. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here, still looking for their first man. Havlicek kicks to Doncic. This one for three. Rebound by Yao Ming. Just 1 of 4 from the floor. Not the start they were looking for here. And here's KD for three. But put that, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second okay. chance points. We've seen the Big E do this forever. Dominant inside, using that size to create second chance opportunities. Here's Havlicek. Rebound by Yao. You know, currently they're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. And the shot goes down. Yeah, and you know, it's a crafty score inside. 
We're showing you he's not just an elite jump shooter. There's the pass to Chamberlain. There's the dish to Doncic. To the middle. Stolen by Durant. Here's McGrady. And again, it's Indiana converting. Tracy McGrady, McGrady. And has accomplished a mid-range shooter as we have in the game. Keeps that high release point on the jump shot. Now here's Robertson. Doncic outside. That's good. And Robertson with the assist. And, and the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. KD against Havlicek. Pulls up on the wing. And so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession down. here. Remains Indiana ball. Let's take a look at the players who have pulled down the most rebounds during this postseason. Number one, Yao Ming. And here's KD for three. Good on the three-point shot. Three. three in motion. Such a smooth stroke. You assume when Durant lets it go, that three ball's going down. Donchich outside. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Luka and an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here is McGrady. And Hayes throws it down. Using his side. Maybe just a little bit of power as well inside. That's how Hayes beats the contact. Robertson pass it to Hamlisher. Six to shoot. It's rebounded by Indiana. They won their last game Monday night. You can see it in that game despite the odds going against them. Once it got to OT, they had that belief and resolve that they could win. Sometimes we've seen it happen where a team that's supposed to be the underdog gets the game into OT, and then the momentum swings their way. Now, here's Dutchich. Jerry West unable to get his shot to go. Great off-ball action Look at from Dutchich. Indiana trailing here. So, timeout called here, the first four. Indiana, Indiana calls timeout. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed we want to create give you some high percentage shots. But shot. you need to be the loudest. Can you do it? Let's hear it! Samson's checked in. Worthy comes in for Hayes. Monroe's checked in for McGrady. And Irving subbed in for West. Worthy finds Irving. Over Robertson. And once again off the mark by Indiana. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. They're doing everything they can to uh, put things in their favor. You earn that. Actually earning it well right now. Now here's Irving. Following the miss by Paul Pierce. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. 
man looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That is the coach. And not the most First common call foul. you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. The wide open look for Durant. Gets it from three point range. Durant's got six. Players with KD size generally don't have that quick release, too. Incredible combination for him. Here's down low. Defended by Durant, and it's slammed in by Garnett. Garnett. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Monroe, the pass to Worthy. Got a piece of it. Outside Irving. Shot clock at six. Fires high post. With the tip. It's rebounded by Robertson. The Celtics have gone just a shade under 50% from the feet. Five of 11. Just two seconds between shot clock and game. Offensive rebound. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. He clangs that one off the back iron Dutch. and down it falls. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. It's been all about Luka Doncic the the for the Celtics. With the score. He delivered nine points from three-point range Your that Pacers. quarter. Terrific work from distance. We'll take a quick break and then back to the, the action Celtics. here. 16. Turn again with more playoff action from the Western Conference Semifinals. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Celtics? You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And also have to bring up their passing game. They, they've been moving the ball with great precision so far and creating great looks for their teammates. So with Worthy sitting on the bench, here's who Rick Carlisle's going with. They've got Kyrie Irving. He's out there with Tracy McGrady. Tyron is out there with Kim. And it shades in at the four-man position. First, Look, I know he runs the point, but boy, can Doncic go to work inside. Austin shooting their first free throws of the night. Shooting. West has checked in for Indiana. All free throws good from Doncic. Pacers trailed by four. West with the ball. For three, Durant. Oh, the Suki smooth three from KD. Three. Well, that's virtually impossible to defend. I mean, with Durant's length, those long arms and the high arcing shot that he shoots, the best you can do as a defender is challenge him and hope he misses. Malone misses. Indiana's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Shays the pass to West. It's Durant on the wing. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Boston. Ah, oh, Doncic very Look comfortable Doncic. down low. It always seems like Doncic is playing with something to prove. Well, I'll tell you what, he's proving plenty tonight. And he's fouled pretty hard Boston on that foul. shot, but he's got the chance to pick up Look the points at the line. Man. The Pacers first, shoot their first free throws. Foul. First trip to the line first in this team one. Foul. The first free throw is good. And, and you look Pick at all the things this man Pacers. brings to the game. The focus, the resolve, a winner's mindset. I mean, there's a reason why they call him the logo. The Pacers making a switch here. Hayes is checked in. Dwayne Wade, he's checked in for Boston. And it's Havlicek missing. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. West dishes to McGrady. Launches a three. Havlicek with the rebound. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. And, you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. He's not going to just give it John to you. He's going to make you earn it. Oh, 
An aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Near the three-point line, it's Wade. Wade, Wade. Gets to the corner and buries it. The assist goes to... Now it's a five-point zone lead. Stockton. Indiana's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. And here's West from the arc. It's good for three. long range. West has got five points now in the quarter. And that's what you get when you combine the range and just his overall confidence. Mr. Outside. Katie against Tablet. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Kevin yeah, and among the many things to like about Hondo, he is strictly about the team. Willing to take on any role. He just wants to win. Zelix 